Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Theme Makers Toolkit review episode. And um, in this episode, we've got Shocks Danger, we've got Artificial Artistry, Grandpa Misery, Geekism, Castaway Gab, we've got Leafy Scott, we've got Lulu Jari, we've got Pixelated, and um, and uh, of course we've got Castaway because um, that is definitely my go-to person right now for all these uh for all these dinosaur and animatronics and uh and all this type of mischief that uh that castaway has, has found himself in um one thing that i definitely want to do though uh, sometime this weekend is uh, i want to give a big shout out to ollie um ollie 14 because they he has actually put together some um some water slide TMTK pieces so I think I need to do that like on its own little episode because you guys know we're like from the very beginning early 2016 ish I've been on kind of like my my water park kick um, even though you know we know water parks and stuff aren't aren't coming to the um, to, aren't coming to, to planet coaster so hopefully that's that's a dream out there maybe in planet coaster 2 world uh, if that ever happens one day but Bo and, and all of them have, have, have all confirmed that um, no plans to do uh any type of water park DLC or anything like that for Planet Coaster, but nonetheless, I've still got my water park going, and I want to bring in some of Ollie's water slide, one of some of his new pieces, and maybe put together a little review um, over there in that park, I think would be really, really cool, but without further ado, uh, let's go in here, and we'll jump in, I always like to start these things, I want to do like 15 or 20 pieces, but I, I don't want to keep you guys here for like 20 minutes every time, so sometimes it's a, it's a really kind of neat, you know, just kind of behind the scenes process of, of breaking down like the, the tin that I want to do, and maybe carry over and save some of the other ones for the, uh, for the next build or the next episode, but yeah, let's go ahead, we will just jump right into this, and I've got my little water platform out here where we will do some of this, and Artificial Artist is up first with a really neat little cage light. Ain't that pretty cool? And of course, it is recolorable, so we can do the light tan, we can do the red kind of emergency light. Really, I like this light because um, it's just really industrial and gritty. Like, see, like, the dirty metal, he's even got the, the power cord, you know, if you mounted it on the side of a wall, and then even on the back, it's got the little, like, um, the little warning symbols and the little Planet Coaster symbol, but really cool um, artificial artist design, and like I said, really, I like, I like that gritty, uh, gritty kind of light um, we've got going on here, so big ups on the cage light. Okay, and next up, we've got the geek himself, Mr. Geekisms little board game here really really cool and just really staying like geekism is the epitome of like staying true to the uh to the whole planet coaster style like i think if planet coaster like were to ever like if they were to build a board game this is kind of the like for in the game like i, I really wish that it'd be really cool if they actually did a real board game like i'd pre-order that <laughs> but if they you know it, this is what I would envision if they were to put board games like as far as in the shops go and and all of that type of stuff. So big shout out to Geekism on this insanely, insanely cute Planet Coaster billboard. And up next we have got our fan by Grandpa Misery. Another really neat wood grain type of uh, type of planet coaster design. Like it, like I said, uh, this stuff you guys are really getting better and better at um, as kind of like what we were talking about on the last episode, where this stuff looks like it could it, like this stuff looks like it could definitely belong in a a, a sanctioned planet coaster you know, a sanctioned Planet Coaster uh, scenery pack. So that is really, really cool. I love the wood grain texture on this. Big shout out to Grandpa Misery and uh, can't wait to see more uh, more stuff like this, animated and even non-animated. It all just looks really, really cool and just flows with the whole game's um, the, the, just the, the whole game's art style, really, really impressive stuff. Um, coming up next, speaking of Castaway, I've got a two for one here. Castaway's got us a Velociraptor ready to go here. And of course, e, the Velociraptors are recolorable. Let's see if we can get like a, maybe like a darker, maybe a little darker shade. There we go. 
So, yes, Castaway, one of my favorite TMT creators so far, has got us hooked up with not only the Raptors, but this is really kind of sad, but creepy, but awesome and beautiful at the same time. We have got the, unfortunately, deceased Triceratops. He's got a broken horn. He's got his guts spilled out over here. He's been he's being eaten on. And another part of his collection is the the T-Rex, the Triceratops, eaten down on the Triceratop, Tyrannosaur. That is that is just really really cool. And uh, like that, like I said, this dinosaur stuff, this dinosaur stuff is coming along awesome with Castaway. And I was even thinking like. I have like a little, um, if you guys have seen, if like if you guys caught the, um, the vehicle, uh, the vehicle episode uh, that just put out just a day or two ago. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Because when I, when I actually built this truck, the, uh, the Triceratops wasn't out yet. So I've got like a little truck, a little Jurassic World truck and trailer that they're trying to haul the, uh, the T-Rex on. But it actually looks a little cooler. Let's see how see how quick it takes us back into the into the toolkit. Oh, that's pretty quick. Not too bad. But look at this. Putting the putting the the Jurassic Triceratops in the back looks a little better than trying to haul the uh, the T Rex. So as long as Castaway doesn't take the Triceratops off the uh, off the workshop, there you go. We are hauling him to his new location, maybe some new field. Maybe we're bringing him into the vet area. Got to do some tests on him, maybe give him, get him some antibiotics, get him some medicine. But yeah, so this is the little truck and trailer with Castaway's little Triceratops on the back. A lot, a lot of fun with that. And what do we have next? Oh, yes, we have got the um, Leaf Scott's got us a little King Coaster plush. So really, really, there's a big, there's been a big push from several different people, you know, um, like Gab and, and, and uh, Leaf Scott and Geekism really working, really working hard on our gift shop type items. And you could just line those up going right down the shelf. And are this, is that not insanely cool? Big shout out to Leaf Scott on those <laughs> and uh let's see here oh i know another one lulu Jure, lulu jury has got us the hagrid bike um imported so i actually don't have the little sidecar um it's actually a three-piece download so i've got the actual bike and uh, the tires but if you didn't want the sidecar um i'm sure you could use some of the in-game tires um you know just the regular tires to put your little motorcycle together but that was an awesome, awesome bike to import. And it's really kind of Planet Coaster toned down as well. Like that looks like it could come from like a a, a Planet Coaster auto, auto pack or something, you know? Really, really nice detail on that, but without being like overly, overly done with like a huge file size. So really, really cool job, Lulu Jury on uh, Hagrid's bike. And one of the next pieces we need to come up to, we're coming down to like our last few pieces. Like I said, I didn't want to, didn't want to totally keep you guys here forever, but um, we have got another really cool one by Pixelated. And you all check out this creepy, creepy haunted, possessed painting. Let me get this down here. Check out this bit of creepiness. Ah. He's actually pixelated. He's got the picture actually changes. Watch this. Eh? Ah. Is that not creepy as hell? Really, really cool. Pixelated is making your haunted house needs a lot easier and a lot more interesting. So big up to pixelated for the possessed painting. Don't forget to go pick that up on the workshop. And uh, well, let's see, we've I've showed you the Eaton trike with 
cast away. I think we're coming down to our last little piece here. We've got to show you Shock Dangers Railroad Crossing. Really, really cute. Be really cool if if Shocks is actually working on us some uh, some nice some nice train pieces. I know um, Wings and Strings has some really cool static pieces, like as far as lights and signs and stuff goes. But Shocks uh, Shocks Danger is kind of taking it to another level here with our animated crosswalks and his version two actually just come out, but it's not textured yet. Um, or, or animated, but just look at look at kind of what he's going for here and uh, and what he's trying to go for. So really, really neat stuff on that crosswalk. It's it's kind of just like Castaways dinosaurs. You know, you think like, man, if if these guys like if these guys are doing this right now, and the Theme Maker's Toolkit just came out like not even three weeks ago. Um, I've said it in like each of these videos. Uh, I mean, imagine a, a month from, I mean, imagine after the new year, I mean, just, it, it's just going to be, it's going to be insane. I mean, it's, it's just going to be absolutely insane. And, uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, I will go ahead and jump on out of here. Oh, well, let me show you one more thing real quick that I said we'll do on its own little video, but this is Sir Ollie's water slides. Really, really easy to put together. Just a whole modular set. And he's got, I mean, all kinds of different little variations. We'll get the dips in, get the turns. Um, now, of course, if you're new to Planet Coaster, if, you, if you're if you kind of like not quite sure what's going on, um, no, the, these will not be usable. Like the guests won't, they can't actually use these, but it's just the implied thought of a water park and the design and um, the LODs on all of these are really great. Like see none of that. It, it, it all can be made out really really cool stuff but anyways guys yeah i just want to give a big shout out to the creators for for keeping this series going and putting the stuff on the workshop and um you know like i said i i am just having an awesome time with this um oh i'll tell you one thing i know one thing i was about to forget that's gab gab has a new little sci-fi wall piece out i just noticed it down here really cool shiny design it is uh it is definitely recolorable so let me just show you let's see if we can get like a wider one yeah, there's that. Or we could do like a really dark blue, kind of like this on the side of your space station. Big shout out to Gab. Really cool, really cool texture on that with like the lighted vent areas. So that is Gab's sci-fi door. Awesome, awesome work. And awesome work to all of you creators out there. Please keep them coming. I've had, I'm having a blast doing these review videos. And I've never even been like a review type of guy. Like that's just never really been my style. But with this stuff, it's always so new and so fresh. Um, it's given me like a whole nother outlet and it helps me. It helps the channel. You guys are really liking it. It helps get the word out for these creators and to showcase this stuff. And, um, like I said, I, I'm just having a complete blast. So let me know down below on what you think of these review videos and, and what you think of these models. And if, if you've got to pull them off the workshop yet and use them in your own parks. But anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Give me a big thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video. And don't forget to subscribe for some more Planet Coaster content. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys this weekend. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.